All right, already. It started all with a little boy on the base seats of Buenos Aires. It's rough, but it's all right. Jim's talking to himself again. <laughs> what do we do? I was growing into a fine young man in Buenos Aires. To just, just walk right. away slowly. Back away slowly. Yeah. I have eyes in the back of my head. You sit there and you listen. Behave, okay. children. Okay. That's good. That's real oh. good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm done. Okay. No. I'm out. <laughs>
and it got and a bit got knocked over to the far right of the screen and it landed on my work shoes. <laughs> Surprisingly, the mug survived, <laughs> and my key and my uh, LED keyboards and everything else still survived. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, oh, that'll that'll be that'll be great to watch later. <laughs> The question is, will Cam leave it in? <laughs> All right, Dadarobia, you didn't see that. If you did, I'm coming to your dorm later tonight. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> your contact. Uh, room. sir. Um, I'm with the uh, FBI. Uh, we're gonna need to talk with you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start whenever everyone's ready. All right. All right. A colorful sign reads, The Grand Adventures of Jim Morales. In crayon and, and a coloring book aesthetic, kids cheer as Jim walks on. <clears throat> hey, kids, it's your friendly neighborhood dorm supervisor and everyone's favorite gym teacher, Jim! <laughs> yeah, we love you. You're the greatest. Now, now, settle down. Now, we all know I have a rich and complicated history. And we also know that I would ra usually rather not talk about it, but as a treat for one night only, I will tell you the story of my sordid past. It is my hope that by telling you this, you can learn to reach new heights, which, of course... Get on with it already. Hey, now. You're a rock star. Tell us the story. Tell us the story. All right, already. It started when I was a young boy on the streets of Buenos Aires. It was rough out there, but the right people saw me, and I became a professional skateboarder. I wasn't as big as that Tony Hawk guy, mind you, but I was a very popular. Once that played out, I was a basketball player for a time. I was taken out of the league due to an injury. As part of my recovery, I ballroom danced. I became a professional in that field, too. God damn. This is great. I also took the time I was stuck in bed to write a, to write a one-act, one-man scene. Or one... <laughs> to write a one-act, one-scene, one-man show. It was pretty popular. As I recall, critics gave it two thumbs up. I was growing into a fine young man, and, Brown, and Buenos Aires just didn't get it anymore. I wanted to go to the United States, the land of opportunity. So I worked in the sewers and on a salvage diving team to save money. It took some time, but I finally was off to America to spread my wings. Oh, yeah. I traveled around the country doing all sorts of things. I worked in a psychiatric hospital as a TV camera and uh, ooh, and as a test subject for space, ex for space exploration. That's when the CIA got wind of me and recruited me for my unique set of skills. I was put on all kinds of special force black ops missions. I couldn't begin to tell you all of it. Uh, right. Just the highlights. Then the master safecracker and locksmith. I was on a special force that fought against hurricanes. Jesus fuck. <laughs> what else? Oh, I was an investigator of the paranormal phenomenon for, for a highly special secret service section. Oh, but that's highly classified. In my spare time, I became a professional ping pong player. Everyone wanted their hands on me. Canada even recruited me for a highly secret special mission. But eventually, the war caught up to me, and I was sent overseas. Basic training was tough, but the assignment as a Navy SEAL was even tougher. But I persevered, rose through the ranks, and eventually came to teach other Navy SEALs. After my tour was over, I wanted to go back to my roots in the media, but I still wanted to go back to the country. So I became a war photographer, and that's how I met the man who eventually cast me in Paco, the Disco King. But you already knew about that one, eh? Thanks to a certain purple menace. You were a star, Jim. Don't run from your destiny. Yes, yes, well... Mm. Uh, I, uh, lost track of where I was going. Oh, come on, Jim. You didn't even tell us how you got to Caddick. Well, let's just say I made my way over to France, found the school, and fell in love with teaching all over again. The end. Woo! Yeah! Woo! All right.
right, all right. Time for bed, everyone. So we have gym class in the morning, and I'm looking to, and I'm looking at you, Belpois. You better show up. What, Jim? I, I I know your attendance has been perfect lately, but old habits die hard, you know. All right, go to bed, and don't go telling the day students I told you all this. All right. And then Zena. Sleep in the recesses of your mind, Mr. Morales, and dream a pleasant dream. Go outside and um, smell no, no. the ashes of <laughs> <laughs> That was a... Uh, we don't even need to do a second take. That was amazing. Good yeah. job, Renadog. Renadog, that was baller. All right, so uh, improv time. I only have a few ideas that come to mind, which were the Jim get the Oryx, dice out. Jim and Oryx's dad just at a bar. Yeah, Jim sure. notices. Jim, I guess, could be a bit tipsy. <laughs> like I already he, wasn't. He yeah, yeah, and he notices Mr. Stern and just is all like, "Aren't you Oryx's father?" And you just Thank go, goodness you you just go from there. Time. I feel like Stern's father would be the more heavier drinker. Also, also would take a lot more alcohol to affect Jim. Due to I mean, they, I see them both drinking. I mean, that's why they're both at a bar. But uh, yeah, a bit tipsy. But yeah, yeah. So if y'all want, to, if y'all want to do that and start with that improv, go go for it. All right. Um, you want to start it out, uh, Run Dog? All right. <clears throat> it's a it's a fairly uh, October evening with uh, with us in. It's been about two hours ish. Jimbo has been there for longer, and uh, let's say Mr. Stern has probably been arrived in like the last thirty minutes. The bar has finally been clearing itself out. It started to lightly uh, blow. It's a light breeze outside, so now everyone's going home, and it's just the last two of these guys there. Uh, I'll be sipping. I'll probably be sipping. And we'll probably start off with Mr. Stern. All right, keep Some... hit me up with another vodka, please. Dude, you've had too much. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> fine. Give me one more damn vodka. Hold on, hold on. Aren't you Stern's father? Yeah. Yes, sir. Who in the bloody hell are you? It's me. Name's Jim. Jim Morales. I am, uh, uh I'm, uh, uh that's what? Good. I'm the teacher of your son's school. Ah. I've been meaning to talk to you. Uh, <laughs> shoot. My son's grades are in the tw toilet. Oh. <laughs> I can't help you there. Did you say he was a teacher? I uh, am. Physical teacher, if you know what I mean. A phys... What? I'm the... What the kids call a German teacher. That's funny. You got a whole class named after you. How... Neat. That's why I prefer to be called the... The drill instructors, sir. You teach people how to use drills? I, I thought you were a gym te teacher, not a woodworker. <laughs> Says the man with a stern tie. What do you do? Business. Business is my game, and business is my game. I see. So you play games, huh? I no, no, I sell paper and the ox. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Stern, if you want to, play, want to play real games, you should see your son in action. Uh, he's a best of soccer. I'm proud of him. That he is. Hey. Hey. Hey, keep. Would you give me another? Me too. And him too. Don't worry. I'll take him home. 
I think that was great. One last line. Uh, the, uh, those I started, are the I weirdest people that have ever walked into my bar. <laughs> and good <laughs> fucking riddance. The Mr. Stern. What was that, Joe? <laughs> Mr. Stern starts to the side and says, You know what, Jim? I like you. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? Yeah, I felt. <laughs> okay, because the mic went off when that happened. I was like, wait. <laughs> That's well, great. My desk. That's great. Good for you guys. I'll deal with him. Just hold on. He just dragged him from his, with, from his feet. The floor tastes like raspberries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of raspberries? That's very, that's very, that's I'm gonna put away this glass before I break this. <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got.